Nashmea Tobaike. There's Dave laying on the front porch trying to get the perfect shot of the sun. I'm looking at the back of your head, Dave. And he's got his phone there. See, we're checking out the sun rays. <laughs> Thanks for sharing these moments with us. <laughs> so we watched the sunset from our over our neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Shalom. Shalom. Namaste. <laughs> no. <laughs> happy Easter, happy Passover. Nelahi <laughs> Sanosote. This looks so neat. Shaluko siva sono bala kiteva otuva kashana siva sono bala suto kola kishana suva heshana otuva. Coming back up the walk. We're coming back to see Dave. And as every question I'll say. Oh. Oh. Let's go Dave Ashe. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Say hi. Achalo. Siya tova kishana vieta vakwa. Yeah? Anything else? Everybody. There's Dave laying on the porch taking some photos. Nazivagosha <laughs> Nate. Today's the, the Sabbath, the day of rest. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Last day of last days of Passover. Pesach. And we're gonna have some matzah. Yes, matzo brie, matzo brio, matzo brie, matzo brie. Yeah, we're gonna make that. It's the first time I've ever made it. I've been making Passover food all week. I love it. <laughs> yes, he does. I'm practicing my Passover dishes. Yeah, I'm even I'm even watching Jewish YouTube stuff, mm. how to make the food. <laughs> it's actually been pretty fun. I like exploring new traditions and new um, belief systems, and I don't know, maybe that's what this message, part two message from Michaela is all about, is, you know, expanding your light and reaching out and exploring new um, customs, places, um, it's been traditions. traditions, yeah, it's it's been fun for me, too, to explore these new things. And when I was little, we used to dress up and wear our Easter dresses. And it was a thing, you know. Um, I remember it well. So I, I have fond Easter memories as well. And even though I didn't really understand things, and it re really wasn't explained <laughs> very much, so we just knew it had to do with going to church and dressing up and Easter bunnies and finding eggs and hiding eggs and Easter baskets and that kind of thing. So I think a lot of this, a lot of our traditions get lost in the monetizations of things. And we've been talking a lot about that lately too. <laughs> the monetizations of things. Hey, we're having eggs and matzo. Eggs and matzo. So, hmm. What does that mean? Is that a, oh, is that a egg? Oh, well, that's right. Well, that's true. And the whole rabbit, and that's a whole thing that for spring, that we didn't really get into, uh, didn't get to talk about too much, but the whole rabbit and bunny thing and what spring, why it's, you know, why it's a thing in spring. But yeah. The wascally rabbit. Wascally rabbit. So we get a, we get a back, you guys get a back seat to the, to a back seat to the front porch. Huh? <laughs> so the sun has officially set, I'm pretty sure. Oh across the street. Oh, I don't want to put our neighbor's house on view here. <laughs> so I'm going to look at the sky. Oh, that looks so amazing. I love watching the palm trees and the breeze and the sunshine and the way it dapples through. All of these things are really are activating for all of us. Every one of these is a sign, a song, a message from the trees, from the plants. 
There's just so much information being sent to us through the plants, we just don't even realize. And we're almost looking at a reflection of our own house <laughs> with the sunset, because all the houses are looking pretty close. They, the they all look pretty close to the same. The designs, the designs are a little bit different, but <laughs> so. Yeah, all the landscapings, it's all the same, but different. But this is the whole point, too, of this, is that it, it may not be the ideal place that we want to be. Um, I, I, you know, it, our, I guess our dream place, wherever that may bring us. But finding the beauty in the moments where you are is really what it's all about. It's actually pretty chilly here the last few, the, the last few days here in uh, South Florida, much chillier than normal, so it's been interesting for us and I know that it's springtime's coming and up north and it's good. so it's a, it kind of feels the same about autumn and spring it feels a little bit to me the same today a little bit of autumn and a little bit of spring all in the same day pretty clouds yeah I just I absolutely love the the codes of information. And when people talk about light codes, you know, maybe a lot of people don't understand really, but the codes of light, the information that comes through, the sun, the sky, the clouds, the soil, uh, the information that's from the plant kingdom, um, you know, they really do rule this, the earth. And in pretty much no time at all, if, if all of us were to disappear from the planet, the plants would take over pretty rapidly, as most of us already know from scientific, you know, movies and studies and things. But if we could just understand how critical, I don't even want to use the word critical, how magical, let's use that. It, because it really is magical. When we connect with the birds and the animals and the plants and these codes of light, it's information that streams through our consciousness and feeds us all these layers of light, all these layers of information through the sounds of the trees and the way it moves and the way the birds fly. And everything actually is us creating, every bit of it. And that's even harder for us to understand. It's hard for me to understand too. <laughs> It's like, how is it that I could be absolutely creating all of this in my consciousness right now? But I am. We are. We're creating it all. It's like we can't even imagine how amazing that is. And I say every day, how is that? <laughs> how is that possible? And yet these beautiful energies come through and these messages. <laughs> even this morning and my meditations this morning, just, you know, the... I ask questions, I receive the answers, I ask Michaela questions. It's like uh, doubting. We're always doubting ourselves, always doubting. And yet the answers are right in front of us. Can you hear the dog? I don't know if you guys can hear the dog. <laughs> oh, well, I also hear, what is that across the street? <laughs> Sounds like a, a motor running. Generators, generators. But the thing is, is each and every one of us are generators. We're generators of our own creation, generators of our own energy, generators of our own manifestations. We're always exactly where we need to be, when we need to be there. <sighs> Acknowledge, appreciate, and allow. That's no fair. <laughs>
Le coteva e le teva show. Oh, Ruko, te vesi na te atu. A parte ego. Nesse vesho na tua. So much love and gratitude to all of you. Step out onto the stage. It's time. Time for you to be in the spotlight. Everything you hear, you're creating right now. with me, with us, that you are creating it. Think bigger, creator beings. Think wider. Think multidimensionally. What would your higher self do? How does your higher self react? Your future self? Allow the answers, the images to come through. Aliseva sono te vacileato vaca. The last of the layers of light for the day. Just find a little bit of love wherever you are. Just let it grow from there. Good day, good love, good night.